don't have any fixed schedule. I do whatever that comes my way, then I do whatever to push my day. What I normally do, I wake up early in the morning around 7 a.m. If I wake up around the time, it's, it's a good time for me because I feel like I should end every exercises and every stuff in the morning before 11. So what I will do, I will just pray when I wake up and make my bed. After I make my bed, I want to wash. After I wash, I get ready for the walk, which I believe like walking on an empty stomach for me, I feel like it's better because it, it boosts my metabolism and it also I also believe like it, it can make it can yeah it can better the calories made during the day. I feel like it's it's good, it's good and healthy and it, it have some benefit maybe to make even your brain to be to be active actually. So that is what I normally do. After I went for the workout, I will come back and wash again. Then I will enjoy my breakfast. For my breakfast, I just enjoy cereals with milk. Hello. Lunchtime. This is where we have our lunch here in this restaurant. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a breakfast restaurant here. But the thing is, because of COVID, it's like we, we are not allowed to sit inside. The only thing we, we do, you just buy and you just go went back to your room and, and have your food. So let's get inside and I want to show you this prestigious restaurant. Order. This is a, these are the different menu. This is a different menu. It's, though it's written in Chinese, but now I just cram and understand some of the things here. What I like is like uh, I like chicken burger with some nuggets. This is what I'm going to order now. Then I will wait for like 10 to 15 minutes to order my my food. So they will prepare the food. Then I will take it back to school. So I will pay for now. But I want to take you to this one, to this picture. Like here, as you can see, this is just one, it's, a T, it's called T1. From this T1 building, there is more like language centers here in this, in this wing. And then from this wing, this is our IPSP office. Okay, before I just go to, to have my lunch, I think it's better for me to, to, just, to just come here to the Kesha division because my ARC has expired. When your ARC is expired here at school, the problem is you have to have some other documents like to renew your ARC. For me today, because I pay for my tuition fee, then I had to go to the Kesha division. From the Kesha division, then I will have to set up my bill, then they will give me a receipt. From that receipt, I will take it to the curriculum office where they will give me like a certificate that I'm still a student, a valid student, student here at CJCU, then I can go to make my ARC. Thank you. 